ജിയോഗ്രഫി ചാപ്റ്റർ ത്രീ റൊട്ടേഷൻ ആൻഡ് റെവല്യൂഷൻ ദ പ്രൈമറി മൂവ്മെൻസ് ഓഫ് ദി എർത്ത് ആർ റൊട്ടേഷൻ ആൻഡ് റെവല്യൂഷൻ സിൻസ് എർത്ത് ഇസ് ദ ഓൺലി പ്ലാനറ്റ് വിത്ത് ലൈഫ് ഓൺ ഇറ്റ് ഓൾ ദീസ് മൂവ്മെൻസ് ഓഫ് ദി എർത്ത് അഫെക്ട് ദ ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് പ്ലാൻസ് ആൻഡ് അനിമൽസ് ഇൻ ഹാബിറ്റിംഗ് ദി എർത്ത് ബിക്കോസ് of the varying amount of sun's heat reaching the various parts of the earth due to earth's spherical shape and inclination of the axis the earth rotates on its axis from west to east once in 24 hours means earth takes 23 hours 56 minutes 4 seconds to complete one rotation this movement causes day and uh, night look at the picture to understand about uh, the rotation of the earth as i explain while rotating a part of earth facing the sun as day and the other part uh, night the two end points through which the axis passes are known as the north north pole and the south pole the axis is tilted at an angle of 23 and 1/2 degree from the vertical the axis would make an angle of 66 and 1/2 degree with the plane of uh, ecliptic the varying length of day and night is directly related to the earth's rotation on its axis once in 24 hours all the moving bodies on the earth's surface like uh, ocean currents or movement of ocean water and winds are uh, deflected to the right in the northern hemisphere and left in the southern hemisphere it is because of the rotation of the earth and the difference in speed as we go towards the pole effects of rotation rotation causes day and night the earth rotates on its axis from uh, west to east in 24 hours this movement causes day and night parts of the earth which face the sun have day and the parts of which uh, do not face the sun have night duration of day and night is not equal at all places on the earth because of the inclined axis second the variation in temperature is also due to rotation of the earth as part of the earth receiving the sun's rays accumulates the heat during the day while parts of the earth not receiving the sun's rays the temperature is low third sunrise and sunset are caused by the rotation of uh, the earth earth rotates from west to east the part of the earth that moves from darkness into the sun's rays experiences sunrise and when it moves away from the sun's rays it experiences sunset fourth the celestial bodies the sun the moon and the stars seems to move from east to west this is because uh, the earth spins from west to east sun is stationary and we are moving with the earth at the same speed it is like when one is sitting in a fast moving train the trees and houses appear to move at the fast speed whereas actually they are stationary and we are moving with the train thus the rotation of the earth from west to east determines the direction in which the sun moon and stars to rise and set fifth rotation causes difference in time in various places 
as earth rotates on its own axis it moves about 15 uh, degrees every 60 minutes that is uh, 24 hours divided by 360 longitudes each time zone is 15 degrees of longitude hence 1 degree longitude is equal to 4 minutes that is 15 divided by 60 4 minutes sixth one the rise and fall in the ocean waves occurs due to the rotation of the earth the rise and fall in the ocean waves occurs twice in 24 hours due to rotation the high and low tide caused by the gravitational pull of sun and moon at a different uh, time of the day occur at an interval of uh, 12 hours 56 minutes because the moon is revolving around the earth in the same direction as uh, the earth's uh, rotation the coriolis effect The Coriolis effect was first described in 1835 by a French scientist by the name Gustave Coriolis. As for this theory, all the moving bodies like ocean currents and winds in the northern hemisphere are deflected towards the right and towards the left in the southern hemisphere. because of the coriolis force which is called coriolis effect or ferrell's law it occurs due to centrifugal force it is because of the rotation of the earth and difference in speed as we go towards the pole 